What's poppin' yo, welcome back to a new video, and today we are doing uh, the Ninjaga Prime Empire Market. So we're gonna start off with the weapon stall before we do anything. Sorry, I just knocked that over. Before we do anything, we're gonna start off with the weapon stall, um, which is here. We have some nice um, green weaponry. A nice giant ninja style, which also comes in the Kai mech plane jet set. Comes with a few knives, swords, these things, and has a sticker down here which shows it's a weapon stall. These doors can open up, but they don't really reveal much, they just show how the inside's built. It also does come with a water bottle, uh, just for someone to drink. People have said it's um, a health potion, but I don't think it is. You also have these minifigure stands for like when you get a minifigure series, you get these stands. So that's nice to see them being used in actual sets. And there's enough back there to stand one minifigure to be selling the weapons. I think all this lime green stuff is really cool. It's very accurate to the show because they have these white hilts with these green blades coming out. It looks very cool. I enjoyed the series. I watched it all last week. But moving on from the weapon stall, we're go gonna go on to the Prime Empire Gate. This entire tile is a sticker. Just let me adjust my tripod. It is really big, so it's only just managing to fit in frame. But it is a walkway, nice stickers, nice curved archway pieces. Um, this is a big tile, which is really nice. And it holds these swords. Nice. I like how it's all connected and stuff, and I like this build here for the arch curves and um yeah I, this there's not much to say about this build it's just it's just really big and it's just another build they threw in they also use the old um stormtrooper blaster piece here for like um decoration and um, depth to the build moving on to the second to last build which is this tiny little these here are like Supply drops, loot boxes, upgrade things. So when you hit them, you get like a special upgrade. But this is a katana, and this is the pink one, and I'm pretty sure this is the first one they unlock when they defeat the red dragon. And um, if you're wondering how it's built, there's like, you just slide it on through, and it fits between the little plus bit in there. If it'll focus. Just fits on through. This is a sticker. And to make it look like it's floating, they attach a see-through cylinder and dish piece, which just goes like that. Now, you can have a minifigure hold it from here, or at the main handle part. So if they're going to hold it here, it's like they are pulling it out. But if they hold it here, it's like they're using it. But moving on to the last build, which is the item shop uh, market, if we just adjust the tripod again. Here we are, we load it down a bit, and you do get five, six hats in this set, um, which is a cowboy hat, a sombrero, or a woos hat. This hat on the stairs can be moved up and down, I mean ladders. You also get a knight helmet, a sailor hat, a top hat, and a Benny helmet. Well, it's not Benny's helmet because it's fixed. Um, Benny's helmet has a crack down the middle, but still a good helmet. Uh, there is a sticker there for 125 credits. And a nice hat thing there. It is a nice market build. I like this, like, sand, this coral colour here. It's really nice. And um, I can see it being used in other, like, sets and scenarios. Well, that's the build of the set done. So let's move on to the figures. Uh, first, we're going to start off with the bad guy team. And we're going to start off with a red visor. Um, which is here. He has a nice helmet with a spaceman, like, spaceman dish piece here for the red visor. He has a nice gun from Jurassic World with um, a red lightsaber hilt, which is really nice to get. You can see a lot of um, custom makers using that. He also has a modified back piece, which has swords and a little pole connection to show the health. All the ninja in this set... Um, have or all the ninja in every set have one life missing, which is not very accurate because in the show, spoiler alert, they all have one life left by the end of it. 
Um, so here we have nice torso print, if we just zoom in. He's got nice torso print, nice leg printing. And um, if we just take his like shoulder pad piece off, we'll get a better look at his back torso printing. But that is the Prime Empire logo on his front face. He has a back face and you'll see it better when he removes this. So here is the back torso printing which has 4F4 and he has a really angry like glitchy face which I like. Uh, and with the red visor on it sort of like dims the blue out. Which is also really cool because like you can have just the red eyes and then when you take it off because the ninja interrogate one of them and his face goes like that. Which is really cool. But if you're going to have him as a red visor I'd say like that but if you're going to have it. I, they're really good for army building because you, throughout the set you get quite a few of them. So it would be nice to have some with the swords, some without, and like just have some variation, some like that, some like that. Just have some variation with them because when you have a lot of the same, it gets kind of boring. Like the Outriders, they did change them up a little bit. They had some with the forearms, they had some with chunky forearms. Yeah. Uh, but moving on to the next figure, which is on the bad guy team, which is Harumi. Um, there it, I'm going to tell you a bit of spoilers, but um, before Lloyd gets cubed, um, he has to fight Harumi. It is just, Harumi is dead, she died in season 11, um, but she does come with this nice gunmetal grey sword, and if you look at the torso, it's all pixelated, which is really nice, like along the sides there. She has the same head, she has an angry one, and if you turn it around, she has... A less angry but still angry face. <laughs> she has some nice back torso printing and some leg printing. Looks like she has a Kill Bill outfit, that's what everyone's using this outfit for, for like a Kill Bill character. And um, yeah. Uh, not much else to say about Harumi. She was a boss fight for Lloyd, uh, but she wasn't the real Harumi because the real Harumi died. And um, Lloyd worked it out in the end, but sadly got cubed. Uh, moving on to the last bad guy of the set, which is one of the rat guards. We'll have to zoom back out for this guy, because he has one of them back, like, sword holder things with the life bar above his head, which can be easily taken out because it is just a pole connection right there. And his head does get in the way of it, so you do have to move it to the side to fit it in. And this piece on top is also for a pole connection right there. I didn't think I said that with the other guy, so I'll say it with this one. Uh, he does ha have... All the bad guys have a red controller, and all the good guys have a white and black. All the bad guys have a black and red. Um, these pieces uh, on the end, you do get like one or two spare, and I do like them. They're very cool. And um, yeah, with the controllers, um, they just stick their hand there and hold it. Uh, and this headpiece is a hard plastic piece, and I do like these guys. I think these guys are a good bad guy. They're funny. Oops, dropped him. Uh, they're funny, and they're just. I think they're better than the red visors, and I wish they were in the season more, because they were more quirky and like unique than just the red visors. But if we take his back thing off, you get a better look at his back torso printing, and I can zoom in for the front torso printing. Um, so if we zoom in, we get a better look at his torso printing there with a skull and a Persian. I like his leg printing, although it does look like Curl's suit, sort of. And then he has some nice back torso printing with a green hat, which is pixelated. No arm printing, uh, and his body is pink. I do like him, but the easiest way to get him is in the Curl car, which is like an £8 set, and that's what I'm going to get, uh, which comes with the green one. And curl, and it also does come with a kitana. So you can get quite a few kitanas throughout the set. But moving on to the good guys, we're going to start off with the ninja's helpers. This is a Kina. He does come with a new head hair piece, which I do like. This is also used for the Prime Empire main bad guy, which is uh, it is also used for Unagami, which is the main bad guy. Uh, yes, I had to pause because I forgot his name. 
But Akina does have some nice torso printing. He's a samurai, so he does come with a Lego Ninjaga movie sword. He also does come with a nice sand colored satchel. And if you turn around his hair piece, which is all one piece, and it is an hard plastic, which is really nice. Turn it around, you have an angry face for him. A little of his beard does stick out at the bottom, but that's okay because it's the same colour as his hair, so it doesn't really matter as much. But yeah, I like Okina, and I wouldn't mind getting a figure of him for myself because this is a Keen review, don't forget. So Keen will share his opinion on the end. Uh, moving on to um, Scott, which was probably my favourite of the Ninja Helpers. I like his blue shiny prints on his legs and his head. They're just like really reflective. They do tell you to give him like a little scythe. He does have a hoodie. He does have a mask. Everyone, when this figure leaked, everyone thought he was Lloyd. But no, he's Scott. I think he's really cool. Scott was the first person to be trapped inside Prime Empire. And he was stuck in there for 30 years. I think he is like one of the better figures of the set. And he doesn't come in too many other sets, so he's quite rare. Um, I'm not going to buy this set, so I'm kind of hoping he does come inside of the magazine. Um, which, there is reviews on the channel of the magazines, if you want to go check that out. So moving on to the actual ninja. Um, we're going to start off with Pink Zayn. We never actually got a Pink Zayn from the episode where Lloyd turned uh, Zayn's ninja suit pink, because Lloyd was doing the laundry. Uh, so it's nice to get him here as an extra figure. This is said to be Zayn's... Um, Avatar, but Zen doesn't actually go into the Prime Empire because it, he's a robot and it would mess him up. But he does have a smiley face and an angry face, and he does have a nice back torso printing. He does come with two shurikens in grey, and everyone was complaining we didn't get a digi suit Zen, but that is because he never actually went into the Prime Empire, so he didn't get one. Uh, moving on to the next avatar that we never see in the show, which is Nia's, uh, is Scuba Nia. She has the scuba mask, the Lego Ninjaga movie Nia's hair. She has the regular Nia face with the happy and the confident. She also does come with a harpoon gun and just a regular summer outfit. This is said to be her avatar, but we never actually see it in the show. The only avatars we see are Jay's, Lloyd's and Kai's and you get them in the arcade pods. All of them are up on my channel, if you would like to go check them out. Uh, moving on to the last avatar of the set, which is Curl. We do not see Curl's avatar, because Curl, Nia, and... No, just Curl and Nia are the ones that don't spend credits. They don't waste them, because they don't really care. And I don't think their avatars are as cool as Jay's, Kai's, and Lloyd's. But Curl uses the Curl hair piece from the Lego Ninjago movie, a moustache piece, he also comes with a really angry face, and, um, oops, knocked him off the stand there. He also does come with a happy face, which is really cool. He also does have just a regular red shirt. He has two pickaxes, and plain black trousers. Moving on to the last figure of the set before we get key to view his, which is Digi J, who comes with two lime green swords, which are really nice. They are new in that colour. See, he also has, if I just zoom out. You'll be able to see the whole figure. He also does come with um, this um, back sword holder with the pearl connection in white, whereas the bad guys have it in black. It does have three health bars here when he only has like two left throughout the majority of the show. He has a controller piece in white with a seat through lime green chain, which has a scythe on the end. Um, you can take this off to get a better look at his back tosser printing and his back head printing. But if we take off his new mask, which I do like, and I do have one for myself, it is really nice. He does have, why did I say it like that? Um, he does have, um, a VR goggle thing there, which is really cool. And I like it in the show because when they have the masks on, they get a weird VR eyes and they, like, change due to their like reaction which is really cool yeah some nice leg printing nice torso printing and if we take this off you'll get a better look at the back torso printing right so here's his back torso printing and his head he's pretty confident there and you can see his like that 
but I do prefer this, and I'm pretty sure Keen prefers this version as well, because that's the one he has it on. And that's it from me, we're going to get Keen's view on the set right now, as I bring everything back into frame. Okay, so I definitely recommend you go buy it. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 because, um, well, kind of let down, well, some were actually in it, so yeah, if you want to see my full perspective on it, you can check out my channel, the video will be out soon, so yeah, back to you Tyler. Uh, after Keen's view and um, all that, I do like the set, um, I'm not going to buy it, I did want it, but um, I don't want it anymore. Uh, the only figures I would get it for is uh, Keena and um, Scott, but they come in cheaper sets, so I'll probably just get those. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed, I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day and goodbye. Bye. Stay home and stay safe.